the next question is um, a question from CAS Business School on some part of portfolio theory. Actually, we have investments in a portfolio and my investment will give a return of either minus 10 or 30 percent. I have to calculate the expected rate of return and the standard deviation if these outcomes are equally likely. So 0 0.5 for that, 0 0.5 for that. And calculate them if there is a 0 0.6 probability for minus 10 and 0 0.4 for 30. So actually it's the same uh, question but with different numbers here. Let's start with um, <coughs> always when you have a portfolio with different probabilities it's very very good to create a small tree so something like that here and we have we have either minus 10 percent with probability 0 0.5 or 30 percent or plus 30 percent with probability 0 0.5 we want to calculate the expected rate of return so the expected rate of return I have to remember that is the probability the probability that's 0 0.5 multiplied by the corresponding rate of return plus the other probability multiplied by the corresponding rate of return. If we multiply these two numbers we get 10 percent and that's the expected rate of return in this case. Uh, For the second case, for the second case B, uh, the expected rate of return for the second case, so let's say it's E1, it's E2, will be 0 0.6 because this probability then will be 0 0.6 times minus 10 plus 0 0.4 for that probability times plus 30. Uh, it gives you 6 percent. Now, things were easy up to this point, but now we have to consider the standard deviation. It's not so easy to find the standard deviation. We have to remember the basics from the probability and statistics. Um, so what we can do here is actually to take a small table and remember some things about probability here um, remember that if you have a variable the variable and the variable takes two values x1 and x2 with probabilities p1 and p2 then the expected value of x equals x1 p1 plus x2 p2 actually this is the formula that I applied in both uh, the above cases now uh, if I want to find um, the variance or the standard deviation that's the square root of the variance I must take the formula sigma squared of x equals to p1 the probability times x1 minus uh, if it's mu the mean value that I found before minus mu squared plus p2 times x2 minus mu squared so that's the formula I have to follow to find the standard deviation of the return of my portfolio. Uh, 
in that case in the first case that I had 0 0.5 for minus 10 and 0 0.5 for 30 percent then Sigma squared of X so the variance is P1 that's 0 0.5 X1 X1 is the number the number is the rate of return that's minus 10 minus mu mu is um, the expected rate that I found before and it was 10 it goes squared plus P2 that's 0 0.5 times X2 that's the second the second number that appears so that's 30 percent minus mu mu is the expected rate of return I found before squared if you substitute here you have 0 0.5 times 400 plus 0 0.5 times 400 half plus half 400 it means that sigma of x is the square root of 400 and this is 20 so that's the standard deviation of uh, the rate of return uh, you can do the same for the second case so for the second case we have again the tree with uh, 0 0.6 probability and 0 0.4 probability minus 10 percent 30 percent so what's in that case sigma squared of x this is p1 p1 is 0 0.6 p2 is 0 0.4 x1 is minus 10, x2 is 30. So I have me um, 0 0.6 and uh, um, here I have uh, x1 minus 10 minus the mu I found before. Remember that the mu I found before for the second case was 6% plus 0 0.4 30 minus 6 squared you can do the operations here and find sigma square then you take the square root of that and you find sigma so that's the way to find the standard deviation in these cases